हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द बेसिक्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव दिस इज द एट जीरो फाइव वन ट्रेनर गेट फर्स्टली आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज देर इन इट एग्जैक्टली दिस आर द फोर पोर्ट्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन दिस इज द रजिस्टर कनेक्टेड टू ईच पोर्ट सो दैट द करंट मिनिमाइजेशन इज डन दिस इज द एल ई डी एट एल ई डीज दिस इज द कंट्रोलर विच इज एटमेल एट नाइन एस फाइव टू This is the U U R pin, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. As you can see, it is it can be used for serial data communication. This is the I C seven eight zero five voltage regulator. This uh, this is the switch uh, or you can say a plug to give plus five volt D C from a battery when uh, while uh, connecting the wires between it. This uh, this LED is used while uh, this LED is used while we connect into the PC or any system. It gives on indication that means your system is on. This is the crystal oscillator uh, of 12 megahertz. This is a manual reset pin, and uh, this is plus 5 volt connections ground and plus 12 volt connections. The basics of 8051 kit. Now we'll move forward. Uh, while now we'll study how to write a program and how to dump into the so, uh, into the hardware. First, uh, firstly we have to make a new folder wherever we want to. I am creating the folder on my desktop uh, with any of the name uh, like P zero one. Then open the kill software. Then create. Click on file new. Microvision project. It will give you a pop-up. Go to the folder which uh, which you have created. I have created my folder on desktop, so I'll go over there. Then I'll give the name of the file. Give the name of the file which is uh, give any the LED two. Then save. There will be a pop-up as shown. Our we are using Atmel 89s52, so we'll have to choose that IC, that controller. Eight nine S five two. Okay. There's a pop up of copy standard. Click on no. Now your file has been created. Then. Your project has been created. Now go on file, click on file, then uh, save that file on the same same folder which we have created with the extension .c because this skill is compatible to other uh, softwares also. So you have to mention that you are writing the program in .c because. it is uh, the program which we are writing is assembly program so that's more of c and less of controller controlling program so we'll have to mention that so i am mentioning it led dot c save now your program your file is been saved then uh, go to target as you can see there's a source group 1 right click on the source group add files to the source group click the folder go to the folder which you have created there will be a dot c file created add that file to your program as you can see that has been uh, that file has been added over here now you can start writing the program over here maximize the screen i have already written a program so instead of writing a new one i'll just copy paste it Okay, now I'll explain you the program. What exactly it is? I have mentioned hash include reg fifty one dot h. This is the header file which has to be included over. As in C, we include hash include uh, con io or scdr for uh, for using that set of functions or predefined things in that library. So we have to include this in include this file. Or header file. Then I have uh, initialized the one variable which is x. 
I have initialized unsigned integer x which means I am using only the positive values of integer like uh, the range of it, it is 0 to 65535 uh, because there is no need of uh, using signed variables because we are not dealing with the negative values then I have written a small program for a delay uh, which is which I will explain you over here first go to, uh, first let's see the main program which starts from which starts from here void main which is uh, main program while one while one because uh, I want uh, this to happen infinite infinite times so I have written while this while will execute the program infinite times now port 2 this has to be written in capital you can use any ports port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 uh, any port which you want to use 0x x because we are dealing with the hexadecimal values so that's why I have written 0x and the value 0, 0 then I have written delay 20 delay 20 is a function call once the uh, program comes over here the it will move to here to this function because void delay has been called so the 20 will be passed to j by the concept of parameter passing then the program is gone over here j j 20 into 10,000 then a for loop initializing x as 0 and j has already been initialized above so 0 less than that many times this for loop will get executed semicolon because there is no statement so we can write semicolon after that uh, finishing the function call after it it executes that many times it will come back to this point so once the 0 0 is executed after some amount of delay you will see ff means once your all led are off after some amount of delay all led will be on again then delay and again the function is called and infinite times this will get executed now i will show you how to dump the program from software to hardware we are connecting the wires in the hardware so that uh, the program written in software can be dumped into the hardware I'm, I'm connecting the port 2 all the ports all the port uh, pins of the port 2 with the LED why only port 2 because my program is written for port 2 uh, then I am for dumbing the program we have to use a burner so I have one I'm connecting then connecting with the PC yeah yeah this has been connected now the program written here is this before dumbing the program we'll have to create the hex file so for that we'll have to go to project option for target one there will be a pop-up for that uh, first device we'll have to make sure the device is at 89s52 over here then target we have to select use on chip rom then output create hex file by default the hex file will be created in the folder which we have created here the program is been written all the steps have been completed then after that I will click on build target if the program has any errors you will see over here so as the program has no errors we'll, we are seeing zero errors and zero warning then for burning the program or fetching into the system we'll use uh, a software called probe isp open the software then uh, make sure the select chip is 89s52 then load flash uh, select the folder which you have created po1 open a hex file is already been created as seen select it open then auto you can see it's been fetching yeah your program is been fetched and you can see in the LEDs so the program was 00, zero and after a delay FF over here you can see 00, zero 
and FF after a delay so it's been blinking if you want more delay you'll have to change over here you'll have to make uh, 50 and 50 50 control s then again you have to click on build target then again load flash same steps again you have to open then auto it will just create more delay as you can see over here before it was just blinking a bit fast now you can see 00, zero and ff in first case all are off then all are off after some time of delay okay hope you like it thank you